What's going on? George Floyd is looking down and he's saying that things are better. And George Floyd appreciates these great jobs numbers. George, thank you. I know, you know, you went out a hard way, but thanks for your blessings on these jobs numbers. America, you're being played. <laughs> you're being lied to. I'm going to show you indisputable proof that you're being lied to. Also in April, unemployment was 20.5 20, 20 million people were unemployed in April. And the unemployment rate was 14.7%, which was still erroneous. But how does we, we have 40 million people unemployment and then the unemployment rate goes down to 13.3%. Because I know some of you have come at me, it's like, hey, Glendon, you know, the stock market, like I've made many videos on it. The stock market is not the real economy. The stock market is an alternate universe. It's a separate economy and it doesn't figure out what's going on with the real economy. It just doesn't. So, you know, I ask yourself, how can we have 42, let's say 40 million, let's say out of the 40 million, 42 million people, 2.5 million got their jobs back. And unemployment, which was 14.7% with 20 million people unemployed, now is down to 13.3% with 40 million people being, how does that work out? America, you're being lied to. It's an election year. There have been several articles that talked about there was a misclassification of the unemployment numbers. And if this misclassification had not occurred, that the May job, the May numbers would have been 20%, which would have still been off. Because if you subtract 42 million from 160 million, because some people put it at 155 million, like 27%, but it would have been more accurate. It would have been inaccurate, but it's an election year. They cook in the books, man. They cook in the books. They're like stirring the pot, putting in some pepper, some salt <laughs> to cook in the books. I like, seriously, I, I will leave you resources where you can see that unemployment was higher with 20 million people out of the jobs than it is with people, 40 million people out of Cause some of you were like, Hey Glennon. And you know, one of the, one of the, like, look, dude, you didn't take the bet because you knew you would have lost your money. And now there's talks of this V shaped recovery. Right now we're living in an alternative universe. Up is down sideways is the middle. The bottom is the top. This is what's going on. You're being blatantly lied to invoking the departed soul of George Floyd to push this felonious. <laughs> I'm just, I understand people are looking for good news, you know, and there's all these articles and I'm just sitting there like, but if we go back to April, we, we, we got all this other stuff. And like, you know, it, 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 it's crazy that I understand that people need some good news. I went out to dinner the other night and the place was packed, which is typical of a normal Friday night. Uh, went to a restaurant, had a little meal, had some drinks and it was nice. And you know, a lot of people were outside enjoying it. And even with this return of normal, the only thing that was abnormal was all the wait staff were wearing masks. But other than that, like virtually nobody was wearing the mask. Um, virtually it would seem that we we've returned to normal, but the reality, you saw my video rents are going down. Why are rents going down? Hmm. Cause demand is down. And this is literally from Los Angeles to San Francisco to Austin, Texas to Charlotte, North Carolina. See, there's what you're being told and there's what's happening. See, that's the disconnect because let's talk about the stock market. Stock market is almost back to where it was. The Fed is doing double monkey backflips and 
the stock market is not connected to the real economy. It only represents the economy of 8,000 of the largest companies in the United States. That is a separate economy. See, there are many, many economies. Like right now, before all of this pandemic stuff, when the economy was doing well, there were people living in their vans. There were people living in their cars. And the economy was doing well, but see, there's your personal economy, there's the larger economy, there's the GDP economy, and all of these economies are not connected in a linear fashion because someone left a comment, it's like, hey, you know, we got these wonderful jobs reports, and really going from 14.7% to 13, that's only like a 1.4 percentage point. If you got a 1.4% raise, would you be going Yahoo, whoop, whoop, party over here, party, o would, would you? So right now, this is being fabricated. If you were just to do a little research, and this is what you do, go back to April and go back to March and look at the number of jobs that were lost and look at the unemployment rate, which was higher than this felonious 13.3%. Like, um, America, you're being blatantly lied to. You're being blatantly lied to. It's an election year. And I, I want you to think, like, they're lying to you about these jobs numbers, and, but they're in no hurry to give you a second stimulus check. Because like I said, if the Democrats win, I, I will start doing stimulus updates because stimulus checks will be coming. <laughs> you get a stimulus check. They, they will be coming because that's what's going to get them in office and that's what's going to keep them in office as uh, some form of universal basic income. I feel that if the Democrats get the Senate and the presidency, we will see universal basic income. I'm almost assured of it during Biden's first term and you know, cause they will have the juice, the power and the ability to push these things through and the Republicans could do nothing about it. And uh, you know, cause it, 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 it's crazy how people are so easily fooled. This is one of the craziest things. Cause like I said, you can do just a quick fact. You can fact check me, go to the Google machine, look up unemployment for April, look up for unemployment for March, and look at the unemployment rate. There were less people unemployed and the unemployment rate was higher than with, we've got 40, let's say 40 million people unemployed and we will see what it's gonna look like the end of June. And you know, I got these people like, my president, he's doing this and all of this. And, like, like, dude, you didn't take that bet because you were scared you would lose your money. Because, oh yeah, we're on our way to a V-shaped recovery. The stock market's got it priced correctly. Then why are rents going down? See, every time that someone comes up with this hope of a V-shaped recovery and this talk, all I have to do is look at the economic indicators. Rents across America are coming down. First time in nine years that rent has come down in Charlotte, North Carolina. First time in nine years. What's going on that rents are coming down? Well, let me tell you, this large segment of people who are unemployed is starting to impact the real economy. Because what do you have, what's your behavior like when you lose your job? You don't spend money. You become really judicious, you start cutting off cable, you start getting rid of Netflix. If it ain't absolutely necessary for you to survive, you get rid of it because you don't have no money coming in. Or if you're on unemployment, you know, that's like less than what you normally get. So you start making adjustments, you start tucking, you start cutting, you start like living frugal, you, know, you, you start adopting the minimalist lifestyle. So what this means is that, you know, let's say your name was Ben and Ben, you were going to move into this $1,500 apartment and you lost your job and you're like, oh, I'm not doing that. And you multiply Ben times millions of people who are stopped normal economic activity. And also for my folks who are going on, how much money do you have in the stock market? Put that in the comments. Put real numbers, because so half of America doesn't have any money in the stock market. 
over half. And then when you start looking at the ratios of what the average person has in the stock market, it's like when you get to a million dollars, it's less than 9% in the country. So even if the stock market is doing well and you know, the Fed's doing double monkey backflips and keep propping it up, for all of you people who are saying the stock, how is the stock market benefiting you right now? Put that in the comments. Let me know how the stock market is benefiting you. Because this is one of the things that I've learned over, over the years on YouTube that people will take an argument, an area of an argument that doesn't really benefit them, but because it sounds good in the comment, they will go ahead. So how is this benefiting you? Because like if you're in the stock market, you're making money, I understand. You know, these are happy times. We. But if you're not in the stock market, why are you worried about the stock market? On Savage Finance, we're going to get into the investment stuff. And I have a video that's going to drop tomorrow morning. It's going to talk about the, what you need to do to prep yourself to become an investor. Because there are many people, who, you know, be, being an investor is sexy. I'm an investor. I got a portfolio. So you got $200,000 of student loans at like 16% interest eating you alive. And you got your little portfolio over here that's returning you 6% a year. Um, you're hustling backwards. That's not really good financial. So be sure to subscribe to Savage Finance and check that out. But you're being lied to blatantly. And also, this is what's so funny. If you were to literally do five minutes of fact checking, you would see that this was a lie. This is a clumsy lie. It is clumsy. It is ridiculously inept. But who is Donald Trump? He's a salesperson and he's going to sell you on some BS because it's an election year. The Democrats are coming up with their overly generous proposals like, hey, America, we got your back. We're trying to do some stuff. These pesky, pesky Republicans don't want to help you out. And it is funny, like some of you have come after me. If you've been watching this channel long enough, you should know how to do a little research. Literally. So once again, I will stand on this. How did we have a 14.7% unemployment rate when we had 20 million people unemployed? But now that we've got 40 million un people unemployed, it's 13.3%. And there's been several articles that have talked about the misclassification of the unemployed, because if this classification was correct, unemployment would be at 20%. Now, why is that happening? What do we know about the Donald Trump administration? Donald Trump don't like bad news. Donald Trump got these folks shook. People will start losing their jobs if they bring bad news to Donald Trump. So they're like, I guarantee you someone's like, let me hit this little box here. Let me check the wrong box on purpose. So the numbers sound much better because I just showed you, you can go check it out and see like, we had 20 million people unemployed at 14.7% unemployment, but now we have 40 million and it's 13 point, really? On what planet? You remember there was Superman and Bizarro, his alter ego from another dimension. This is kind of like this because these are alternative facts right now. We, we, we're in some crazy, crazy stuff because I'm just sitting here and I understand people are weary of the coronavirus. People are weary of the lockdowns. People are weary. And, you know, just like I said, you know, check out my video, George Floyd and the coronavirus. It, it, it pretty much details what's happened because people are fed up. People are mad. People are confused. But. I am not confused. And I'm going to tell you one of the things is this is one of the things that I do. I look at the economic data daily and I've been doing that for years. And that's why when, as soon as it came out and you know, George Floyd is looking down, I knew I was like, why are you lying? That was the first thing. It's like, why are you lying? Cause I've looked at these numbers over and over and over again. And like I said, go back. I'm going to link them below. You can check them out. And 
Well, what does this say about the state of America? And for those, for you Trump fans who watch this channel, I don't know why you watch this channel, because I think Trump is one of the most inept presidents we've ever had. Um, and you coming at me with flimsy economic data. See, this, this is how I come to you. I come to you with 22 years of business experience. I come to you with a sharp mind. I come to you with a good track record and you come to me with your opinions and assumptions because you want, you, you know, you're a fear monger, man. 40 million people don't have a job. I mean, that's not happy time. It's not time to throw a party. There's no party with fruit punch, cupcakes and ponies. We're going through a global reset. We're having a situation where it's going to be really hard for many, many people for years to come. This is setting generational wealth deflation. There were people who were formerly middle class and like, check out these two channels, the invisible people and soft white underbelly. That population of dysfunctional, crazy, harm, molested people is about to explode because this is what people do when they face hard times. They do bad things. They start drinking, they start doing drugs. And, you know, sad to say, many people start taking their own lives. They start to, or, I mean, you can believe what Donald Fibbing Trump is telling you. And I, I, I'm like, I'm just appalled. Like, you, like I said, once again, I, I'm gonna keep reiterating, you could do a simple five minute fact check and see that these lie. Just five minutes. And I, I have a question for you, America. Why don't you want to look at the research and the data? What's, what is that about? Why don't you want to look at that? Why don't you want to open, that, open up that can of worms? Because here's something that you should know, America. Just because you don't want bad news doesn't mean bad news is not going to impact you because this is like bad the, the economic bad news we have is like gravity whether you choose to adhere to it or respect it it's still gonna affect you like if you walk off a cliff like i don't believe in gravity well gravity's gonna believe in you and it's gonna pull you down that hill and kill you and this is where we are because there are there's a whole bunch of people like I said, like last night I was out, you know, we we're having a good time. We we're drinking beer and margaritas and, you know, it, it felt normal. I will admit it felt good. It felt good. Everybody was having a good time. You could tell that there was this pent up demand. But see, here's the bigger problem. There will always be people with jobs and money who will be doing these things. That's not ever going away. It's just going to be greatly reduced because we're going to have, because there's another website that l details all of the layoffs across the nation. And see, th this is one of the things. So let's talk about May. We knew that in April, we had 20.5 million people unemployed. In May, we lost probably 17 million jobs 17, let's say, cause you know, it was, uh, let's say 20 million and then 2.5 million. And let's talk about that. Cause the unemployment stats do include people who've come off unemployment. So these 2.5 are not new jobs. They're people who are going back to their old job. So it's a little felonious to say the economy gained 2.5 million jobs when people just went back to work. <laughs> I'm like, that's like, if I gave you, you get, if you loaned me a hundred dollars, right? Cause you, you good people like that. You know, you know, you, you, your, your dudes in need, he needs a hundred bucks. And then I gave you your hundred dollars back. <laughs> Are you really ahead? That's kind of like what just happened. It's like, so to say that these jobs are new jobs that the economy added, um, it's it's a little dubious because they cooking the books, man. A little salt, a little pepper, 
little little seasoning they cook in the books like I've never seen before. The year, 2020, the year of the murder hornet, I've never seen the things that I have seen recently. I've never seen uh, what we're going through. This is unprecedented and that word's getting worn out. But there, there it is, my dudes and dudettes, that you're being blatantly lied to. And also, uh, I was watching on one of these stimulus checks, a lot of people were like, these numbers are not real. They're lying, they're lying, they're lying. So there's a lot of you Americans who are smart cookies. You know what time it is. You know that they're, they're blatantly. I mean, it ain't even like, it is a blatant, clumsy lie. I think, what what is the term? If you can't dazzle them with brilliance, baffle them with bullshit. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. Cause I'm just sitting there this is so easy It like, you know, the Washington Post, there's a few uh, periodicals that are trying to like, oh, this ain't necessarily true. Unemployment is way higher than what we're being told, but it's an election year. So don't believe anything you hear from any politician, Democrat or Republican, because it's an election year. They're going to lie. They go, they go, they go, they go rub your back, feed you cookies, make you feel good, get you all comfortable. <laughs> and then they go stack it. <laughs> they go, they go, well, let, let me say, uh, I do believe the Democrats will make good on their stimulus checks, stimulus proposals. If they get the power to run this stuff around and do it without the GOP, they gonna do it. In America, at that point, I will start doing stimulus. I was like, <laughs> Today, it is January 1st, 2021. This is your stimulus check update. The Democrats have put this proposal of 2000. I'll be doing that all day long. I, I would be on that. I would join it because, you know, for me, it, it was just disingenuous to keep talking about proposals that were never going to happen. I, you know, I got love for you, America. We, we folk. I'm not going to do you like that. I'm not going to play with your emotions and toy with you and, and be putting up all of these gestures of these, these proposals that are just never going to reach fruition. I'm not going to do that to you. I'm not that type of dude, but Democrats, you know, it's next, next six months is going to be really interesting because we're going to find out who our next president will be. If we lose Donnie, we will find out if the D Democrats get the house in the Senate. And November, it's gonna be it's gonna be on and popping because right now, on this Josh report, you're being blatantly lied to, and I can prove it with facts, not my opinions, but facts, facts, not alternative facts, but the real facts, the real facts, because this is the craziest thing that's ever happened before, man. This is really, really strange but if you're one of those people who are unemployed i got a little gift for you and we're going to have a little, little chat you're going to have to change your mindset the government's not going to save you there are many of you who have been unemployed for months and you can't even file for unemployment there are a lot of you who moved to a new state and you haven't been in the state long enough <clears throat> you're not getting unemployment and you know you're un you just don't have no job so you're going to have to create your own job you're going to have to Go down, get 30 days to 2,500, get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. Those are free. Go ahead and get those, utilize them, do the course. There is a Facebook group with other people who are taking the course um, where you can communicate and talk to other folks who are on the same path that you are. All that stuff's below. And also, I will be doing another live webinar for how to make money for scratch. How to make money for scratch is the advanced course of 30 days to 2500 so that's going to be coming up real soon that's not free but i understand america you're broke I understand you have a lot of money so i made some adjustments on the price i got a little deal for you below go ahead and get that and then we can start cooking with some gas and be sure to watch this next video that's going to be right here right here